Hello, this video is going to be about the electron volt, what that is and um, where did they uh, come up with it, written as EV, that's electron volt, and also uh, about a little bit about the energy mass equivalence equation uh, that Einstein is famous for, which is equals mc squared, and, and how they go together. Okay, now, the first thing we'll look at is, we're going to look at the electron volt. So, I shall rub out Einstein's famous equation for a little bit, and we'll go back to talking about um, plates. These are charged um, plates, there's a potential difference between these plates, and there's an electric field these between these two plates and we looked at the video earlier so I've got these two metal plates here and we will have on them we're going to put one volt on there and this is going to be no volts so there's a potential difference of one volt now if we had an electron and um, say it started there E it would feel a force um, under the electric field and that force would make it accelerate from this end across to there and it would gain kinetic energy and the kinetic energy that it gains is equivalent to the work done accelerating it and from a previous video I've done on looking at accelerating particles we come up with that the charge on the particle times the voltage is equal to the kinetic energy gained. So in fact the energy gained is simply equal to QV or in our case we can write that as energy so the energy gained accelerating that electron across there is equal to equal to the charge on electron times the potential difference. The potential difference is just one volt. So it's E times one volt which is equal to E V, the electron volt. So the electron volt can be defined as the energy required to accelerate an electron through a, a potential difference of one volt. And that will give you the energy in fact would be of course in joules. So, let us look, look at that in more detail. So, we have the energy of EV. Now let's, let's put that in joules. So, now the charge on an electron, which is the same as the, the charge on a proton, which is known as the ele elementary charge in some data buckets. Um, now that is equal to the charge on an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs and multiply by 1 volt because we have 1 volts potential drop that gives us in fact an energy in joules which is 1.6 times 10 to the oop, I forgot to put 1 in there that's better 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So one electron volt is equivalent to that. Now, an electron volt is a tiny, insignificant piece of energy. However, um, it is used by scientists um, also in the form of mega electron volts when, when dealing with what happens at the very small level. So that's what the electron volt is. Now, another unit is called the mega electron volt, which is used a lot in particle physics and nuclear physics and the mega electron volt is just a million electron volts so we multiply so that equals a million one times ten to the six multiply by one point six times ten to the minus nineteen and that gives us one times ten to the minus thirteen joules so a one mega electron volt is equal to 1 times 10 to minus 13 joules. So, 
Why do we use all this stuff? Now, we'll have a look at that now. When, when is it used and what's this got to do with Einstein's equation? Now, Einstein's equation, this, it was rather not his equation, he had lots of equations, his, his famous, most famous equation is E equals mc squared. Now this shows the relationship between mass and energy. In fact, it shows that mass and energy are equivalent and that c, which is the speed of light, and c is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And this is an easy, this is the conversion between energy and mass. So what's that going to do with the electron volt and anything like that? Well, let's rub that off. Now, when we look in our IB data booklets, we get a, a very, very strange thing, which is a proton. Let's look at the proton rest mass. The proton rest mass. So what's it got to do with the proton rest mass? Well, I'll try another colour. The proton rest mass is equal to, according to the, the data book, look, this red comes out, it looks a bit faint. I should go back to the black again. And the proton rest mass is equal, as quoted as, 1.6... There they go, this is, this is live recording. None of the pens work, a bit like, a bit like my lessons. Oh, that's a bit better. So, we'll go from there. So the proton rest mass, as I'm trying to get onto, is equal to 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Now, it is also quoted as being equal to 938 mega electron volts C to the minus 2. Now, where on Earth do they get that as a mass? That is a mass. The mass of a proton is 938 mega electron volts C to the minus 2. But where on Earth does it come from? Well, it comes from um, a combination of the electron volt and mega electron volt, and it comes from e equals mc squared. So, we're going to going to find out how we get to there from there. Start here, how do we get to there? So, the first thing we do is we must convert um, the, the mass into an energy. So, we have got energy equals mc squared, so we're going to convert the mass to energy, so the energy of the proton is equal to, I've got it written down here, 1.673 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, make sure you use the SI units, multiplied by the speed of light squared. 3 times 10 to the 8 squared. And then that becomes equal to 1.51 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. The next thing we do is we can convert from energy in joules to energy into electron volts. And the way we do that is we divide it by the energy of an electron volt. So the energy in electron volts is equal to 1.51 times 10 to the minus 10 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. That being the, uh, the quantity of the electron volt. So you could write it like that. And that is in electron volts. And that comes out as 9.41 times 10 to the 8 electron volts. 
We then convert that to mega electron volts. Uh, so we divide by a million, and that equals to 9.41 times 10 to the 2 mega electron volts. Okay, which is simply 941 mega electron volts. So we'll start at the top again. Now, here we go. So, we have got the mass equivalent energy of a proton. The energy is equal to 941 mega electron volts. That is the mass of a proton. Equivalent. Equivalent. Mass proton, energy equivalent. Energy equivalents Equiv Equiv uh, lengths. There you go. That shows why I teach physics and not spelling Now We're now going to convert it back into mass We know e equals mc squared therefore mass is equal to energy divided by c squared so we're going to turn it back again into mass. Seems rather rather pointless as we just turned it energy, but watch this. So therefore the mass is equal to 941 mega electron volts divided by C squared, which can be written as without dividing so we're leaving that as letters, we're not turning that into numbers, and that can be written as 941 mega electron volts c to the minus 2 and that in fact is a mass not an energy but a mass so what were we trying to do we're trying to find out where we got our our value from our data booklets now this is not exactly the same because in our data booklets we had the rest mass of a proton so mass proton was equal to 938 mega electron volts C to the minus 2. So, why are they not the same? Now, I'm not entirely sure. It could be due to rounding errors, it could be due to the date in the booklets, but they're, they're close enough for me. So, but if you do know why they're different, then um, if you could write to me and uh, I'll make a mention of it on one of my videos. Okay. That's quite long, today's one. We'll stop it right there.